Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can implement the theme customizer to be able to edit this showcase area from the back end of our WordPress installation. So first thing we're going to do is go to functions.php and I like to put the, the customizer stuff in a separate file because there's, there's quite a bit of code uh, depending on how many different options and settings you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to include a file here. Okay. So let's say require. Uh, actually, we're going to say require and then we're going to use the function get template directory. And then we'll just concatenate slash ink slash customizer dot php all right now we'll save that and we're going to create a new folder in our theme called ink for includes all right and then we'll create our file called customizer dot php so let's go ahead and create a function and we're going to use our prefix here WPB underscore and we're going to say customize underscore register. Okay, so this is going to be a function and then we need to do add action. And the hook we want to use is customize register. Okay, just like that. Now, just to show you what the customizer is, I don't even think I've done that. Let's go to the back end and you can either click on customize or you can go to your themes and click on customize for that theme. Okay, so this is the customizer. By default, we have some options, the site identity, um, menus, menu locations, widgets. Okay, that has the different widgets. We can access them from here. Static front page. Okay, so this is all stuff that you can basically access in your settings as well. What we want to do is create another section here for our showcase and then be able to edit stuff. All right, so to add a section, I don't know why it does that. Okay, um, before we do that, we have to pass in an object we have to pass in an object called WP underscore customize alright and then in here we're gonna take that WP underscore customize and we're gonna call a, a function called add section alright now in here the name of the section we want is showcase all right, and then we can pass in an array of options. Okay, we want to have a title. Okay, so for the title, we're going to use our uh, localization function. And then we want the text to be showcase. And then you want your theme name, which in our case is WP Bootstrap. All right, so that's the title. Then we're going to have a description. Okay, for this we're going to use the sprint f function. Okay, then we'll use the localization and we're going to say options for showcase. All right, and then a second parameter which is going to be the template name. Okay, so that'll be the description. And then the last one we want is the priority. Did I spell that right? Priority. Okay, and priority we're going to say 130. So that should add a section. Now if we save it now and go back and reload, you won't see it because we don't have any settings or controls. All right, so we need to add a new setting. 
So this will be for the heading. All right, so what we need to do is take that WP customize and say add setting. Okay, now the name of the setting is going to be showcase heading. And then we're going to pass in an array. And we're going to set a default. Okay, whatever we put here is what's going to be in the in the input field initially. We're going to use the underscore x localization function. And let's put in this as our default. All right, and then we want the theme name. Okay, and then the next option we want is the type. Now you can have type either be option or theme mod. Okay, and in most cases you're going to want theme mod. Those other things here, these ones are all options, but we want this to be specific to our theme. All right, now that adds the setting, but we need to also add a control. Okay, so we're going to say WP customize add control. All right, and the control is going to be called the same thing. Showcase heading. And then we'll have our array. It's going to have a label. Okay, label is going to be heading. Then we need to specify the section that we want this to be in, which is going to be the showcase section. All right, and then we can also set priority. And we'll set that to 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and go back and reload. And now you can see that we have a showcase section. Click on that. We have a heading option with the default text. Now, if we change it, it's not going to do anything yet. All right, the theme does flash, but nothing changes because we haven't implemented anything yet. Uh, we're just creating the fields for now. All right, so that's the heading. Now we're going to want this, this text here. So for that, we're going to need another setting and control. So what I'm going to do is just copy these two, paste it in, and then we'll change to showcase text. For the default, we'll choose what we have here. Okay, this one is going to be showcase text. We'll change priority to two. Okay, so now if we go back, we should have a text option as well. All right. Now we should probably have a link uh, URL option for the button as well. So let's copy these two again. And we'll call this one button URL. And for the default, We'll just say HTTP uh, test dot com. OK, down here we want to change this to button URL. Change that to three. Now we could do the text as well for the button, so we'll copy that. And just change this to button text. And we'll have read more. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so we have heading text, button URL, and button text. Now we're also going to want an option for the image, right? So um, I'm going to put that up at the top. So right under the add section. All right, we're going to paste in 
we'll copy this and then paste that in. All right. So for this, uh, this is going to be called showcase image. All right. And the default, this is going to be a little different. We're going to get rid of, uh, let's see, we're going to get rid of this first parameter and we're going to put in uh, a function called get blog info because what this is, it's a default uh, path to an image. All right, so get blog info and then we're going to use template directory. All right, and then from here we want to concatenate slash img slash showcase dot jpeg. Okay, so that's not there yet. We're going to have to put that in. All right, and then for the control, this is going to be different as well. Um, what I'm going to do is just get rid of this whole. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it, but um, let's see. Actually, you know what? Just to avoid confusion, let's clear that out. All right, so add control, and then we're going to do new wp underscore customize underscore image underscore control. Okay, and then in here, uh, we're going to pass in that wp customize and then add another parameter with the name, which is going to be showcase image. Okay, then the next parameter will be the array. Okay, so we'll have label and I can just copy this. Okay, so label will be showcase image. And what else do we want? Section showcase. We also want to add settings. which will also be showcase image. All right, and I think that should do it. Um, for the priorities, I want the image to be at the top, so we'll keep that as one, but then I'm going to just kind of add one to the rest of these. That'll be three, four, and five. Okay, so let's save that and take a look. Hopefully we have no syntax errors, which we do. Uh, let's see, unexpected double arrow line 12. So right here, did I not put it? No, I put a comma. All right, I'm just going to make this a little bigger. Oh, you know what? This actually shouldn't be here. It should just be like that. And then we have one on 19. Okay, that's just missing a comma. All right. Now, just in case um, you have some errors, I'm just going to show you this so you can make sure you have all the correct code. Okay, pause it if you need to. Okay. Now, if we look at the customizer we have the showcase image and we have the option to change it or remove it. Now there's nothing here because we don't have that default image, which is, uh, which should be in our theme folder in image showcase. All right. So let me just open my theme folder up. All right. And what we're going to want to do is create a folder called image. And I'm going to take the, the image from the HTML folder, the showcase, copy that, paste it in there. And then let's go back to the back end and reload. And now you can see we have the image showing. Now, right now, none of this matters. We can change it and save it, but it, it doesn't make a difference because we haven't implemented it on the theme yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, we're going to do that in the next video.